hi guys and girls on youtube and welcome to my channel uh, just a really quick video here to show you i know people on youtube like to look at unusual things um, now anybody who's repaired tvs in england will know what this is it's a dy87 eht rectifier um, a thermonic valve now there's also a replacement for that which i've shown you on youtube before that's a silicon one that's the um, the silicon version of the um, dy87 but look at this i've come across look at that for a rectifier um it's obviously a solid state one um now i'm not really sure let's just move these out of the way i'm not really sure what it is um, i've seen these bases before um but i'm not absolutely certain it looks like something american but look at the size of that it's got four pins and they're actually very very short pins these um in total these diodes here um, there's 14 diodes on it um, now I've measured the peak inverse voltage on one and it comes out at about 1800 volt um, so 14 diodes that would put this rectifier probably around about 25 uh, kV so if I turn it over um, you can see that there's eight diodes there and then we keep turning round there's another three on that side and keep turning there's another three on that side uh, the top cap is the anode um, so let's just turn this around now, I've, I've seen these uh, solid state devices before but I've never seen one as huge as that so we put that next to the DY87 you can actually see um, the size of that rectifier how, how the, even the base dwarfs this um, little rectifier uh, now there is a part number on this um, so I'm going to turn it over and let people look at the part number um, and then you can um, somebody might recognize this or you can leave it in the comments uh, and that's it there semicron SKA 6720 slash 3660 doesn't mean anything to me um, but uh, somebody will recognize that so uh, all right guys and girls many thanks for watching this really really quick video and uh, hopefully soon i'll have a bigger video to produce let's stand that for size comparison Alright guys and girls, many thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.